Darren, we'll start with the news of Wes and Josh both getting a call up to England to see respectively. It's a fantastic achievement for them. Yeah, it's really good. I think, I, I believe it's Josh's first time. Yeah. Um, and obviously Wes has been in the squad before, so they're aware of Wes's ability. Um, but yeah, brilliant, brilliant for the club, brilliant for the team, and obviously brilliant for the two individuals to earn their call up. So yeah, really pleased from both. Another achievement within the squad. Scott Loach made his hundred and fiftieth consecutive start in a row the other night. I mean, even since he's come in, the forties put on have been justified, and it's a great achievement for him, isn't it? And he's. He's a brilliant professional as well. The way he conducts himself uh, through the week as well is, is is he's a true professional. And and what I talk to the other young goalies like Eamon Azaz and Riyad Matravitz and that you know, as much as you're going to get your work done by the goalie coach and all the little tips that we can give you through the week, you're working with a very good professional that's played at a, at the highest level, and. If you're not going to learn off of him, you, you know you're going to struggle to learn at the end of the day because how he conducts himself through the week is superb as well, and he's been he's been awesome for us on the on the pitch this season, and I'm sure he'll have a big role to play as uh, as we close in on the end of the season as well. Really pleased for him. Onto the game this weekend, we faced Stockport County. It's a funny meeting last time we played them because I mean we didn't pick up the win, but we didn't play badly that day, but. We've come a long way since then, so it's set up to be a decent game. Yeah, and listen, I've got that. I've got that sort of sob story over two or three fixtures earlier on in the season where I thought we'd perform well enough to to get something out of the game, but we didn't. And Stockport being certainly one of them, we we I remember playing well and thinking we we warranted the minimum a draw on the day, um, and we've ended up falling to a defeat. But like you say, we've 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 come on from then. Um, we have an almost fully fit squad to pick from as well which which gives me enjoyable headaches and you know we go there on a, on the back of a good run of games where we we should be confident we've had a couple of little bumps recently with Solio and the trophy game but you know in terms of where we are with our league form and and how we've been playing and picking up points you know we we, we are we are in a good place at the minute but we've got a tough week ahead of us with, with obviously the first game being Stockport, which is which is no easy place to go. So Stockport are in that pack that are looking for the playoffs, a couple of places above us. This game gives us a great chance to make ground on those teams and really push for those playoff places. Yeah, I mean, there's a number of ways of looking at. You can look at that, and you know we've got we've got a, a week ahead where we've got three teams that are all above us. Um, so potentially picking points up off of them are going to claw us closer to them. But we've got a, 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 an amount of points available to us and we've got a target of the amount of points we believe we need to achieve to be where we want to be at the end of the season. Um, and, and no better start than tomorrow against Stockport. If we can go there and pick up three points, it'll be a, a brilliant boost for us. Some unfortunate news from the Boreham game. Cameron Reynolds, who performed fantastically well for the 45 minutes, was forced to come off. Is there, is there an update on how he's been since then? Yeah, it's not it's not great news. He 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 took a he took a blow on the head, which is uh, which required some hospital treatment. So he needed, uh, I think he's had it glued in the end rather than stitching, um, and a, and a, and a little bit of mild concussion, which which would have kept him out for two weeks anyway with the with the current rules. Um, but sort of adding to that as well, he got a he got a slight tweak on his hamstring as well, which we're waiting for scan results to determine how long that will be. But we're probably going to miss him for the next handful of games, which is which is a blow for the team and certainly a blow for him. Um, he was playing ever so well of late, um, and and then to top it off, he got a wonderful goal the other night as well. Um, and he's been pretty key to how we've how we've turned this round since the back end of November. Um, he's a he's a terrific lad and a and a real good player. So it's going to be a loss to us, but thankfully we've got Harry back, we've got Ricardo, we've got obviously Sweeney and Elliot. So we've got some cover there, but it's a blow for him and a blow for us here. Yeah.